Hey everyone, this is Seth from SSW, and today I'm going to be talking quickly about some end user documentation options. All right, so you've made an application or whatever it is, and now it is time to make some documentation to give your users instructions on how to use it so they know the important stuff. So, what can you do this on? Well, you can make Word documents, right? You can just make a website with HTML pages. Maybe you put your documentation in, um, you know, your company's intranet, your SharePoint site or something. But then it can be quite difficult to navigate. It doesn't look pretty and it's just overall hard to deal with. So there's a couple of better options out there. So I'll start by showing one called Gitbook. You can see here, this is Gitbook, which is a product designed for making end user documentation. And essentially what it is, is it, it, it just gives you a basic starter documentation template uh, that then you can uh, build off of and you store all your documentation there, right? So if we go to the Gitbook docs, then here we can see what a Gitbook documentation site looks like. So this is actually the docs for Gitbook and how to use it. But this is an example of what your documentation could look like. It is somewhat customizable. If we go here to site customization, um, you have some control over it. You don't have full control. You basically have the options that Gitbook gives you. So if I go down here, for example, when I click on themes, then you can see I have the default theme, which is what we're looking at here. And that might be enough for you. And if that's enough for you, you, you should just use something like Gitbook. And then if you want other themes, bold, contrast, then it's premium and ultimate. So these are their, their more expensive paid plans. Now I'm going to show another option called Tina CMS. All right, Tina CMS is like Gitbook, but it is more customizable and it's also open source. So let's look quickly at uh, Tina CMS. So Tina is an open source headless CMS that supports Git. Uh, with built-in version control. It integrates with GitHub really well if you are concerned about having pull requests and reviewing changes. And it's got, just like Gitbook, it's got great visual editing. It is open source, which Gitbook is not. You can work with blocks in a more customizable way than, than you can with Gitbook. It also uses Markdown, which Gitbook does. It has Git integration and then Right, it's good for, for documentation. Here's where Tina is slightly different and better, right? So in Tina, you actually have full control over the code on your front end, right? So you actually build the components that you want to have on your website. So you build the blocks, and then the editors use the blocks to, to do their editing, right? You basically can do whatever you want with your Tina site, so it's much, much more customizable if you're willing to put in that effort. And for that reason, if you're willing to, to put in the effort to, to make your site great, Tina's the better choice. So um, we have Gitbook as a uh, basic solution, uh, and then we have Tina as the better customizable out-of-the-box solution that you can use that's open source and free to get started with. So now I've shown you two basic options for end-user documentation. Depending on your use case, you might go with Gitbook or you might go with Tina CMS, but you should uh, pick the one that's right for you. This was Seth from SW and see you next time.